Hey YouTube, SpareSoftMan123 here with a video review of the EA 3x EOTech magnifier replica. Um, it does do 3x. Uh, so, I got this off eHobby Asia for 30 bucks, or sorry, 40, 40 bucks. Um, and it has, uh, it looks completely like the legitimate EOTech. Uh, it comes with a flip mount. Oops. Uh, I was not very smart because I have the floor there. Uh, comes with a flip mount um, and spring loaded flip up um, uh, lens covers. I guess that's what they're called. Um, when I got this gun, um, it was off. Uh, I should just show you guys how to fix it. Pretty much, it's uh, it's completely. I believe it's aluminum. Uh, it's all metal. The only rubber parts on this um, are the covers here. Everything else is full metal. Um, it's quite nice looking and works great probably with the Neotech. Um, when I originally got it, the uh, entire um, scope actually was was to the side this way a little bit, um, but it was enough because it's a it's like scope. It's pretty much like a scope, right? The magnifier was off. It wouldn't. You would uh, if you had a Neotech or something here. Um, you wouldn't. You'd have to look in like a bottom corner to see the actual Neotech uh, dot. Or the rep, uh, the um, uh, reticle, so it wasn't lined up properly, uh, straight. Also, it was aiming upwards. Um, so pretty much this top part right here was aiming upwards at a slight tilt, which again, because it's a magnifier, it does make a huge difference over the distance. Um, to fix that, what I did was um, there's actually there's one there's two screws. There's a screw right there which I pretty much stripped trying to get it into place. Um, with this one, you just have to keep on screwing it as much as possible. Um, I believe you have to screw it um, left uh, loosely, s s loose, so lefty loosey, um, I guess, as much as you possibly can to make it go straight. And then with the other one uh, on the other side to make it go um, uh, down, actually that took a little bit more work. So pretty much here is where the thing is, and. To do that, you have to um, screw it, I guess, to the right or the left. I'm not sure which one. But anyways, that actually didn't work. So, and, oh, I'm um, sorry. Before I continue on to that part, um, when I was having to do this side here, when I was having to um, make it even, so like straight, because it was off to, uh, off to the side a bit, so it was a little bit this way, um, I actually had to remove, there was two rubber things the side, um, see if I can zoom in there. So right there, you see, oh. so you see that little metal, that metal thing right there. It's not really zooming in, but anyways, that metal thing right there, the, it almost looks silver in the screen there, has two little rubber pieces beside it, and you have to remove those um, to get it to go in enough. Um, so again, back to what I was doing here. Um, so to do this, what I did was yeah, remove, this is a quick release um, lever to remove the actual complete optic from the top of the mount. And right here we have ourselves, or here I'll zoom out, we have ourselves a screw, which I have stripped quite a lot trying to get this. Um, you have to make sure the size is perfect. Um, not really on this side, but because like, you can't loosen it from this side. When you tighten it back up though, you do it from this side. It's much simpler than doing it from the inside. Um, but to do it from the other side, I had to flip it, and here we have ourselves another screw. Get one that fits perfectly inside of there. Like, it can't be too big, it can't be too small, so just perfectly, and use your entire body weight to turn it to the left, to loosen it, and remove it. And when you remove it, um, the top part, you can see here that there's a crack going in between here. This will completely come off. Um, some parts will fall out, but don't worry about that. Um, what you'll notice is that where the um, the screw there, right here, like that thing where the rubber pieces were, there's actually on either side there's two other metal pieces. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try to s there. You see? Oh, well, pretty much that thing right there. These little that little shiny thing right there. There's two of those on either side, and they can have two little rings. Uh, sorry, th uh, they have s three rings on each one. Um, remove them and put one back on on each one facing downwards you'll you'll know what i mean when you see them um facing the metal things they have a curve in it and you want to have the curve 
um, curved and like the middle part sticking up and the two curved parts sticking downwards. And another thing is there's a metal, a little metal piece. We'll see if you can see it in the front here. No, you cannot. Um, but there's a little metal piece anyway on the right here, like right inside this crack. And it goes into a little slot. Um, and that's supposed to get pushed up when you turn the screw. There's like a special mechanism there that pushes it up. Pretty much grind off about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half of that metal and place it back on until it looks even and then put it back on and then you should be able to adjust it, adjust it perfectly once you have this back on. So that's what I did to fix that. Um, so pretty much that's the overview of the um, EA EO, uh, Replica EOTech uh, three times um, uh, zoom scope, I guess. I, I keep forgetting what that's called. Uh, magnifier, three times magnifier. And uh, so pretty much I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.